Aloha, everybody. Again, I'm Malia Nobriga Oliveira, and on behalf of the University of Hawaii at Manoa, Hawaii Nuiakea School of Hawaiian Knowledge, we are super excited to be partnering with Kanayo Kana and so many of our other partners. You know, when we go live on Kanayo Kana's Facebook page, we also go live on Hawaii Nuiakea's page, Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, OEV TV, Mana Maoli, so many of our partners are helping us to get this um, message out, just like all of you. So we're really happy that you've chosen to be with us here on Lei Anue Nue. Um, and yeah, Uncle Wally is saying, I like Uncle Max's answer to the question. Whatever limu you put in front of me is what I love. <laughs> awesome. And also limu manuea is a favorite. So what a great way to transition, you know, uh, people like Uncle Wally and Uncle Mac, we love you all. We love our Limu practitioners, our Hui Limu, and two of our presenters today are definitely a part of that Hui Limu, and they are Limu practitioners here on Kauai. So I'm going to ask to unmute here and ask them to do a ho'olana from where they're at. Aloha. Hui. Aloha. <laughs> I'm Tina Lani. I'm from uh, Anahola. Can you tell a little bit about yourself? Um, I love Limu. I live and breathe Limu. Well, Limu wakes me up every morning. So I go holo holo. Okay. Yeah, Limu rules. Awesome. Limu rules. I'm going to add to hers. Um, <laughs> she's the daughter of Uncle Jose Alavo, uh, an old uh, Kilo, an old uh, Konohiki of of such uh, from the Anahola Moloa uh, Ko'olau region. Um, so she is the daughter of Uncle Jose Alavo and um, a descendant of many of his practices. Um, I'm Lewan from Ha'ina. We're actually streaming live from Wailua because yesterday the Ha'ina uh, internet never like work nothing. <laughs> so. We thought we'd be safe today. We're in Wailua. Um, I kind of uh, fluctuate between Ha'ina and Wailua, between my um, two kind of Ohana homes. Um, and I am a descendant of uh, the families of Ha'ina, one of the 38 families from Ha'ina Hui. My mom and dad are Colleen and Presley Wan, you know, Presley from Hui Makaina Naomakana. Um, that's my father, um, and I am uh, currently the director of Limuhuli Gardens and Preserve, um, which has a lot to do with why also I preserve and protect limu. It's another plant species, if you will. Some like to argue limus aren't plants, but indeed they are. Um, so, it, um, yeah, and we are. We are um, uh, Koala Koala Limo project. project. Yeah. <laughs> it's a project that started about 20 years ago. Um, uh, a family uh, practice in uh, replenishing and restoring is the focus of Limu Manoea in an area that was abundant. And for whatever reason, it is no longer there. So our practice is to hopefully um, we're starting uh, replenishing and regrowing it in cages, and hopefully we can extend it out of the cages onto the apapa and hopefully bring it back. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So we're excited. And, you know, I do to mahalo for your ho'olana. You know, I, I really, I'm just honored to be, I want to say be in your presence. We're not in the same place, unfortunately, we're, but we're on the same moku. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, for um, those of you that don't know, um, Ati Nalani and Leigh, uh, they're both uh, Aloha Aina warriors um, in so many different ways. And it's just uh, just great to, to be able to learn together and that you guys have chosen to come and share with our audience today. So, yay, let's get started. All right. So, um one thing Auntie Nalani didn't get a chance to share is actually she's a master cook and a master <laughs> chef, actually, not a cook. Um, yeah. And she specializes in... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll be doing some traditional style of cooking and also going to take some uh, dishes up a notch. So, um, 
Yeah. Are we gonna get going? Yeah, we're gonna get going. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna start off with a. It's a lot out that I I use I have used and um, I, I suggest you go and uh, uh, research on all the ingredients that I, I'm gonna be using because I don't want to make any claims to this. Uh, I use it when I get cough. I use it when I'm feeling tired. I use it when I get aches and pains, especially going on the a pop of, uh, all day. Who you come home, rub a leg. So um, I'm not, oh, Lay's gonna show you. So I'm gonna start off with a bottle of organic vinegar, okay? And that's gonna be the basis of this drink. So I get research vinegar. So I'm gonna fill up this blender, the entire bottle, yeah. There we go, how are we doing? Uh, you come here below. I'm gonna put that entire bottle of vinegar in here. And then we're gonna save the bottle because that's what we're gonna to use to put it back. In this, I'm gonna add all this ginger. You can see all this ginger. That's probably about uh, three cups, two cups, right, right inside. Let me see, I'm trying to get light now. I'm gonna add another handful of fresh olena. And I want to say some of these uh, products we're using today uh, came from uh, Aina Ho'okupu, Okilauea, the Kilauea Egg Farms. And all that's going to go in. More goodness. So we got a handful of garlic. Mm. All that is going to go in. You get two pepper in the yard. Look at that seed. So I think we're going to do about 20, 20 ni oi. Right inside that bag. And then we're gonna add, and this actually came from the Kilauea, um, from the farms too, that Yosha partners up with. So I got a nice sweet round onion I'm gonna add to it. Nice, yeah? Yeah. And the, the limu, the first limu we're gonna use is limu kohu. But this limu is spicy. And they call this limu lipehu. Yeah, it's a short, Limokohu. It doesn't grow long like the really nice purple one that is sweeter, but this particular one is spicy mm. and it's hot. And I just recently learned that after reading, and uh, Limokohu has been sharing some limo identification via email. And on one of their uh, documents, they had uh, a limo, this Lipehu, they uh, identified it as being sharp and spicy. And I asked Uncle Wally, hey, Uncle, I picked this limo recently. And I think, I was thinking, did I mix it up with the oil or something? It's spicy. So, lipehu is what I learned they call it. So, I'm I learning, yeah? So, this handful of limo is going to go right in here. All that goodness right in there, yeah? Wow. So blend it up. And, oops, are we plugged in? Not ah. You can see so pretty the blender, yeah. <laughs> Lots of colors in there. For those that are just joining us, there was the apple cider vinegar, um, the neat oil or the Hawaiian chili pepper, the olena or the turmeric. Um, the fresh ginger, fresh garlic, fresh uh, sweet onion. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make a little bit noise. So we're gonna blend it all up. What we're gonna do after Show the pretty color, Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna strain it now because I pre-strained some already. And after it sits, the color of the olena, you'll end up after it's strained with a beautiful pulp like this. Oh, this you save. I'll show you what I'm gonna use it in later. This and ketchup, not to be funny. Makes the best cocktail shrimp sauce. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a tip. Yeah. 
Let's say sorry for what I was saying. But I listen closely. Yeah. She's sharing secrets. This is sour cream. Forget the horseradish. Oh, yeah. so beautiful, beautiful hot spicy pulp. You don't want to get rid of. So save that in your fridge. A uh, little. We didn't strain it, but we're gonna have like, take a little swig of it. Not too sweet. <laughs> So, and then, Lani, um, tell us what are some of the benefits of making this drink and why is it important? What is that going to do for our, our, our bodies? Okay, like I say, um, everybody should research because I don't want to make any claims, but we know that it's anti-inflammatory. So it's ginger, uh, garlic is uh, uh, antioxidants, and the limu provides similar uh, vitamins like A, C, and E, uh, minerals like iron, iodine, and of course, we know what the oil does, you know, it keeps you nice and healthy, it keeps your blood nice and flowing. So again, it's just a kind of all around uh, when I'm feeling whatever I'm feeling. I mean, sometimes I take a shot daily. Sometimes, you know, my body tells me uh, when to take a shot. So uh, keep it in the fridge, you strain it. And I usually take about two shots. Some people, uh, there might be, it's like when, it's like when super, super high chili pepper water. So if you don't want uh, uh, chili pepper water, then, then you might want to add it to juice. Mm. And then, it, but um, if you handle chili, you can handle chili pepper water, you can handle that, yeah? Yeah, actually it's really quite, it's really pleasant. Yeah. Right? And the texture yeah. comes down easy. Never, uh, never, uh, never uh, marry it. <laughs> you try in about two hours, be like, woo, but um, yeah. So we strain it, we save the pulp, there's multiple uses and you leave it in the refrigerator. With this whole pandemic, you know, who's taking shots a day, just just because, and um, yeah. it worked. <laughs> We're still good. Okay, so Lynn. So just a few things um, about the limo she used. Remember, she used kofu um, and the specific type lipeku. Um, so it's kofu. Make sure you go with people you know, know how to pick. If you never pick before, don't just go out there, yeah. Um, I'm a strong advocate for um, going with, going in the same way we all learned, which was we learned from somebody, yeah? We didn't just go. Um, go find people in your community who are willing to teach you and uh, learn. And don't just, you know, gather without um, some kind of knowledge behind what you're doing, yeah? Um, and, the thing about limukohu too is picking it right is important, yeah? Um, we just pull out all the kunu kunu. There's practitioners back, you know, early 60s and 50s, 40s that used to pick the kunu kunu too, and there's a practice with that. But I think if we really want to see limukohu growing in the future, we got to do the best practice we know at the time right now. So. Just like you was pinching your brother and sister when you were young, you know, you can pinch the um, limo, leave the whole <laughs> fast, um, make your limo strong. Um, nowadays, we only make our limo soft and yeah, so you're going to make your fingers and your third joints really nice and strong, which are joints we need in Hawaiian culture and practice, yeah? All right. So the next limo, um, I know you all being corona at home and um, kept locked up and you're doing all kinds of homely things and Pinteresting and whatnot at home. So you get your kids at home like me um, and trying to do uh, creative things and you know, whatnot. Um, this next recipe is for the keiki. Um, this one I'm still perfecting, but it does nothing for me if I keep knowledge only to myself um, and I don't share. So um, yeah. again, you can take your, your um, you can take this recipe and you can play with it <laughs> and find your best um, solution to this whole recipe. Um, but I wanna honor real fast, um, Uncle Valentine, Uncle, who just passed away recently. Um, I'm uh, very close with him and part of my family. <laughs> and he always told me, you don't keep anything to yourself, you share. So 
it does nothing for me to not share this recipe. So the limo that we are gonna work with right now, I'm gonna share my camera with you folks, is a limo called Limo Aki Aki. Holly, I can see. Uh, yeah. Right there, right there is good, yeah. So um, this is Limo Aki Aki, and it's in different stages sort of, this is when it gets a lot of sunlight here. And this is when it's kind of more sheltered. Um, I, I don't see any real difference when you're cooking with it, um, whether you use the green or the brown, Sorry. but I would <laughs> assume, you know, sunlight oftentimes takes away some of the chemical properties um, that maybe this would be your stronger, but um, when I'm cooking again, I don't see too much difference with it. So, all right, here we go. <laughs> sorry, 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 Kate. Sorry, we're not technically savvy over oh, here. Good. You're <laughs> good. Right. <laughs> so, um, can you all see me? Yes. Here we go. Yes. So I'm gonna take about a, a quart size bag of limu akiaki. Again, this is a com common limo you will see um, in sort of the rockier areas of the kai. Um, and when you gather it again, not just hooky it, yeah? You're gonna, this one I, I, I suggest you pinch. You're gonna be there a little bit longer because it's gonna make your fingers really, really strong. <laughs> It's a harder, hearty limo. Um, you might even use upa if you find your fingers aren't strong enough, okay? So you're gonna gather about a quart-sized gallon of this aki aki, or quart-sized bag of this aki aki. And then you're gonna put in a pot like this with about two um, cups of water and you're gonna boil it. When you boil it, you'll see it turns nice and green. So just turn my pot a little bit. Okay. Okay. It's yeah. gonna turn green like this. Okay. And in the pot, it's gonna make a really strong jelly inside. That jelly is what the old timers say they use for thickener in soups, like fish soup or pipi stew. This is the old thickener back in the our kupuna days. I don't know of many people using it now, but makes an excellent thickener. So um, I strain mine. I strain my, I'm gonna show, share with you my screen one more time. I strain my um, aki aki from the pot here. And then it turns like this, okay? So, what you're gonna make is jello for your cakey, okay? Oh. So you're gonna, um, in a small bowl, you find your favorite juice, and don't worry, it's organic. To make it organic, no panic, okay? You put about a half cup of your favorite juice, whatever flavor your cakey you wanna drink or have what kind of jello they like. Um, my son likes the mango. So I get 100% juice, mango, nectar, whatever. You could even make your own, it's mango season. Um, and you could take about a half cup and put it in a small bowl, okay? I eyeball it. <laughs> a sugary cup. And then I'm gonna put about a cup of my limu aki aki gel. Ooh, wow, and it's really thick. <laughs> Really yeah. yeah. And because I haven't quite totally just moved from just aki aki, I do just dust just a tiny bit of um, natural gelatin. You could use um, even a plant-based one. Um, and I sprinkle about, about a tablespoon. Okay. Then I I go like this. And when you sprinkle like that, I believe the word is like pikai, just like you pikai something, yeah. And you're gonna, and you're gonna see your 
liquid gonna come real thick, okay? And you're gonna just mix it up like you're beating egg until everything is mixed up all together. Meanwhile, in the next pot, you're gonna put three cups of juice. So again, a half cup of juice, a cup of limo akiyaki, a tablespoon of polka uh, gelatin. And when you get good, you can erase this. Um, and then you're going to pour in your, your um, pot three and a half cups of juice and you can bring it to just uh, about a boil, just like um, you're making the, you know, the store-bought jello, the package kind, just to about boil. And when you're done, when you're done, mix them all together, Voila. put them in your gelatin pot. And I even put akiyaki inside. Ooh. I put nice. akiyaki strips inside for fun for the kids. But you see, I'm showing you. Yeah. It, uh, it's jelloey already. It's um, just three hours in the refrigerator, four hours in the refrigerator. And she's pot eye. Uh, your cake, you're gonna be so happy. My my son's already waiting. He's like, can I eat it? Are you done with your show already? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I just put the the leftover. This the akiyaki becomes very soft in the boil, and I spread it. I pee. I put it all over. Kai all over the um the jello for just make some kind of texture and fun for the kids. Um, and. There you go, limu aki aki jello. So then, the sweetness <laughs> is coming from the juice itself, the natural juice. Oh, the natural juice. Um, it's the same way they make like agar that's used yeah. in gelatin. Um, I understand. I haven't perfected it, but if you bring the agar to a boiling temperature and then freeze and then dehydrate, you have the right the right um, mixture where you won't have to use the polka anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm perfecting it yet. Uh, I still have some ways to go, but um, yeah, natural jello for, for the home. And now you got all this extra limo in the pot, yeah? You drained out every other juice. You drained out all the juice, the juice is in one bowl. And you drained out and you got this extra limo that's nice and pretty green. It's so beautiful. Um, I had this thought that it looked like the same when you make seaweed salad. Mm. So um, then I started playing around and really good. make seaweed salad with the remaining limo aki aki. So um, for seaweed salad, you need about a tablespoon of uh, sesame oil. Um, that marine pow uh, sauce, you can put rice vinegar, you can put a little bit chili pepper, um, and you put uh, miso and a little bit uh, uh, sesame seed on top and the thing it tastes just like Wiener. the seaweed salad you buy Wiener. in the store. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, so oh, yeah. yeah. And um, this limo and a koali, go ahead and jump in. Anybody on the um, phone, too? One thing we do know about this limo is it also works kind of in the same sense as an anti inflammatory because it does that to your body. It, it draws, it sucks up things from your body. So it sucks up toxins, is what I've read and heard and um, heard Kukuna talk about. So um, again, lao. For your kino. Mm. All right. Okay, so moving along, we got some. Uh, Do we have any questions? <laughs> Should we? Uh, we I, just think there, I think th there's a lot of comments and hearts because they're just loving it. They said they're calling it Ike Bombs. <laughs> loving all the Ike Bombs and the sharing and thankful for that. So mahalo. Okay, so again, uh, props to, uh, I think this was Kilauea. Ag Farms that donated, uh, uh, cousin Kahanu uh, donated ahi. So I pre-cubed it and I added some pa'akai. It's gonna um, take out some of the water. So I'm gonna drain it real quick. And real simple, yeah. All I'm gonna do is add, like I said, I already pre-salted it. 
I'm gonna add again the uh, my favorite limo because that's my favorite limo. So I'm gonna add the uh, Lipegu. And since we have uh, other limo to play with, like the uh, Aki Aki, I'm also gonna add the Aki Aki. Uh, it'll add a really nice crunch, whereas the Kohu, because it's soaked overnight and because it's delicate to begin with, I'm gonna add some little crunch to it. Like I said, I already seasoned it. And basically, I'm just gonna add some Inamona to add some really nutty flavor to it. I'm gonna reserve some for another presentation. And I'm gonna add some fresh ni oi. Ooh. Ooh, simple, yeah? This is simple Hawaiian style. Later, this is the original poke. We would use nenui, we would use moi, uh, we would use other fish, but basic seaweed, Hawaiian salt, iramona, and the oil. Later on, you can bang them with some green onions, oh, get extra, and uh, you can add shoyu, like I always say, Cooking is an art, so you can add shoyu, you can add sesame oil, you can add round onions, uh, you can add whatever you want to add and be creative, okay? So we're just going... Uh, Are you all licking the screen right now? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> my here. So we're just getting... going to hooli this around pretty quick, get it all mixed up, very simple. Again, we really, uh, adding um, value to the aki aki that made a wonderful dish and all uh, uh, amazing salad, trust me. And we're gonna add texture to this dish by adding uh, aki aki along with the uh, lipeho. Okay, so real simple, real quick, real easy. So again, she's using that, uh, the limukohu, and again, good practice when we're picking. And uh, limukohu real fast, this, this limo is rich in iodine. It's um, one that kupuna use for helping their cocoa, their blood. Um, if they're anemic or weak, um, my tutu, she was real anemic, especially towards the end of her life. So every time we'd come from Kauai and go visit her, uh, she would always ask for uh, limo kohu because it uh, helped her blood levels and Every time she go to the doctors, they would ask, what are you doing? How come your blood all better now? Um, and then when she wouldn't have, it would kind of drop down. So um, yeah, that there was is, that. There is a question here um, about getting the lead. And it says, if it is from the kite, is there a way to identify them? Cause I don't like pick something that is not good to eat. So I guess this is for someone new to sharing, um, limo. And I think Justin came in a little later. So, uh, you know, you did say about making sure you go with someone so that you learn together with someone and we're not just all going down to the ocean and just gather, gather, gather. So I don't know any other thoughts on that. Yeah, try and find someone in your community or better yet in your ohana if they pick or used to pick it's a good way or good time even right now to encourage kupuna or people to teach you um i, I would start there first um start with your ohana and try and because what you end up doing i don't know who answered uh, asked that question but uh tita or brother whatever uh what you end up doing is you also gather that that family tradition along the way and how your kupuna gathered because how one kupuna might gather might be different from another way um, others gather and you get to preserve the traditions and the ike of your ohana. So start there and if no can, if everybody's gone or used to and no, no like go anymore and you cannot, then start looking in your community, ask around and um, you know, you want to make sure you do it kono because like she, like she or he said, um, sorry, I cannot see the comments right now. Um, okay. you, you know, like go out there and just gather and it's not the right kind. And um, you want to also think about, or the right 
yeah, the right time, um, high tide or something like that, or flowering. not good, or she, yeah, she's flowering, or um, in that area right now, get lots of invasives or something, and um, you you want to <coughs> make sure that you do it pono. So I would recommend that if that's really something you want to do, and for us, both of us, um, being Vahine, it was a tradition in our ohanas. Um, my tutu, that's, you know, He'e and Limu, that was their kuleana. Um, they were on the apapa, and then my uncles were in the deep ocean. Um, so I grew up learning that that was my responsibility in terms of lawaia, in terms of holo holo. Um, and that was something we carried on. Um, same with her. Um, the, there is multiple stories from our, um, my ohana also comes from Ko'olau as well, but um, there's multiple stories of Ko'olau vahine being out in their mo'o mo'os and in their mm -hmm. dress on the apapa and gathering. Um, and yeah, I, I would start there. That's a good place to start because, um, and we don't like to discourage people from not picking because if we don't keep this tradition alive, how how is it gonna survive? In what this? we wanna um, encourage is how to pick. Yeah. So tomorrow get, next generation get. So it's not about over harvesting, it's how you harvest. And we encourage people to go, and go pick because it needs to be picked. It dies back, it regrows, it dies back, it regrows. I think like a six year cycle, I'm not exactly sure on the specifics, but just like the garden in your backyard, just like your mala, you have to go and weed out, clean out, so you have a nice, vibrant uh, papa. So same, same for both, yeah. And ha again, too, if we're not out there, we're not kilo, we're not being out there and building a relationship with the limu, with our, our grounds, our, our areas where we gather from, how do we know when there's an effect or something going on in our environment? Mm -hmm. See, and then they, the limu starts really taking off. You, if we're not out there, a year pass, the pop of pow, all invasive. And maybe you had an opportunity to do something. Um, and then we had blamed some brother, some uncle had go over there and take all the move, but actually the limo is telling your story. Yeah. yeah. And one more thought to that too. Um, we always try and tell our keiki and our programs and in our uh, ko'olau limo project, mm -hmm. you know, just as much as we, tend to our gardens, our forests, out Mauka. I'm, uh, as I was, was mentioning, I'm very much responsible and involved in our Ahupua'a Limuhuli and have to care for the forests and our native forests and our native forest plants. Um, but just as much as we're looking there and looking up towards the mountains, <laughs> um, yeah. gotta be looking towards the ocean and the kai because um, as Uncle Wali, Uncle Wali, Ito Aloha, how it says Limu doesn't start in the ocean, it starts in the mountains and the in the forest. And if the health of the forest is good, the stream water is good, and it's really that fresh water that starts to ignite a lot of um, our limus and um, the nutrients that come down from these pulleys and these mountains and you know from our taro patches that filter out all the good and the bad. Um, that's where limu starts and um, yeah. As a result of that, uh, there's a lot of water diversion here in Hawaii. And you start seeing those areas that once were bountiful of a, a type of limu um, no longer exists because waters have been diverted, water trickles down to the ocean. They need to feed, our water needs to be open. All our streams, rivers need to be open. They need to flow in the sea because that is what feeds a system in the ocean and healthy limo, more fish, more fish, more big fish, you know, so it's, uh, it affects uh, the entire um, ecosystem too. So real quick, I was up all night, all night. I have to pound this ahi now, nah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I pound them this morning. So uh, I'm gonna take this up a notch uh, when, I, when I talk about- um, You better get ready when she know, says right? that. <laughs> Coming oh, out yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, so no blinky eye, no blinky eye. Uh, yeah. You go and you go, you go uh restaurant, they call it carpaccio. Ahi 
carpaccio, very expensive. All he did is pound the, pound the uh, piece of ahidan, sashimi style. And you can do that. So you like uh, uh, entertain, you know, like show off now. So <laughs> take between two uh, pieces of plastic. I use a, a kitchen mallet. Tap, 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 spread, tap, spread, tap, spread. And what you end up is with a nice thin layer of ahi. And so this is like poke, but fancy style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first season it with pa'akai, yeah. A nice amount of hanapepe, uh, pa'akai. And because we get all these libu and we can be generous, I'm going to sprinkle, it's almost like a deconstructed poke in a sense. I dish, uh, put some limakohu, and because we get aki aki, eh, use them. We're gonna add some crunch to this too. Yeah. And oh, I found some limo kala, by the way. Ooh. For some, you can get into that later with lay. Put it up, right yeah. Up and you know, I know the uncles would say, ah, rubbish that limo, but I'm adding texture, I'm adding minerals, I'm adding vitamins, I'm adding everything to this dish. And all the little extra, and I, and I love color, right? So all that little pulp from the, uh, the little powerhouse new oil yeah. is going to go on top. And, and you put Olena too, yeah? Yeah, in that. So I, what is the name of this flower? It's Hawaii. <laughs> so you know it is uh, perhaps uh, Blue vervain. It grows in the pastures. Um, any wild pasture it grows alongside the um, road. Tastes like licorice. It's a laau that we use in Hawaii. They call it oi oi, hau oi, hawi. Um, yeah, we often call it hawi on Kauai. So. so I'm going to add a little uh, pieces of the oi that was chopped up. And I'm trying to keep it as native as possible. So. I love color. I'm about presentation. So I'm going to take out these beautiful flowers, purple flowers, and I'm going to sprinkle on this dish, which I found on the way here. I'll give you some idea. I'm adding this beautiful color to it. So these beautiful flowers. Um, I've had it. It grows wild in my backyard. My horse don't like it. It's OK. It does have a little licorice taste to it. And um, that looks amazing. And instead of use black pepper, we're going to use the flower and the kukui nut tree. Spicy, little bit, whoops, hello. Little bit, little bit bitter, like the sap from the kukui nut, but it adds a nice presentation. It adds a nice, uh, a nice little bite to this dish. And I couldn't find anything that was native, that was green this morning. So again, I love color. Yeah. I don't know if it does you any, any justice. Um, uh, we can go and, and do this. There's my green. Yeah. That's amazing. And I'm gonna drizzle some kukui nut oil on it. Okay. So we're gonna drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. You know, some carpaccios, they drizzle truffle, but hey, we don't want truffle, you know. So we use, uh, and I was trying to keep the green onions off, but I just love color. So here we go. <laughs> All right, how's that? Wow. And now you, now, this one you need steak knife and fork. You have to eat cream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, you eat pretty, maybe you get some garlic crudite on the side or some nice wine, preferably <laughs> white, but yeah. And then you put kava on top, you can prepare this ahead of time, uh, put plastic and leave them in your refrigerator until you like, you know, put on the show. So very beautiful dish, utilizing three different limu because it's here. And reusing, uh, uh, reinventing the pulp from the another use from the the laawai made earlier, 
yeah. a little green nut oil and oh wait one more come on can i forget this all right so we adding uh some in the tail. yeah oh my god this is breakfast making the scene, uh, making the okay so <laughs> in the restaurants they call it carpaccio for us we just call it ahi sashimi uh plate style top with uh as as native as you can get with as much seaweed as you can get enough as much texture as heat uh crunch all different kind of textures so voila bon appetit wow bon appetit yes sure. you know and there was a comment here from les that said mahalo i didn't know that you can eat the cocoon flower uh, uh. I didn't know either till today, and I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's um, I, I, you know, we we might have a sap from the kukui because you know uh, my family allow everything. So, um, so if you know what that sap tastes like, that's what this tastes like. So I only put a little bit. Yeah. Uh, it, instead of putting fresh ground pepper, this would take its place. Yeah, it has a little little bitter, a little a little um, heat to it, like black pepper. So yeah. Do we have any questions out there in the virtual world? Yeah, there's another um, question here. Do you know that the health of the limu is improving? Reefs seem to be regenerating. So, so curious about if the health of limu is improving. Can you all Lela, one more time? Sure. Do you feel that the health of limu is improving? Um, I think it depends where you're at and, um, you know, maybe the projects or the things that are going on again, um, on land. Um, if you go to some areas of, um, uh, even our island here, um, where there's a lot of development going on, um, or even like old hotels that um, have been there forever and nobody's maintaining them. Um, they're closed down or however. The limo will show you things in your environment, like signs in your environment. So I'll give an example. Um, we are all familiar with, um, I think, on Kauai here that um, I'm going to disclose names, but um, the area of Coco Palms, yeah? That, that hotel's, um, yeah. you know, yeah, it's forever. been there forever, but it's not in use right now. Um, there's a couple other uh, old restaurants and things that are not in use right now. And um, near that area, hala, 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 the pala, nice. hala, hala, and the, <laughs> but would you eat it? I'm, I'm not disclosing this for the, <laughs> for the purpose of gathering, by the way. So don't go out there and gather. Um, and up above that is a um, septic or sewer treatment plant, okay? Um, so looking at the limo, the limo looks nice. It's green limo, so it's nitrogen limo, yeah? It's, it's something that picks up the nitrogens, but there's lots of palahalaha, there's lots of ele, ele growing right now. But I, I would like to pick it, but I'm looking at the land and I'm going, old hotel, sewer treatment nobody's taking care of that what could possibly be happening happening and um i don't know um who else is on this call but there are some scientists from uh um hilo we had a sweet um girl here on Kauai, amy Mar uh, marco who is doing a lot of research here on Kauai, um testing green limos to see um if it could we, well it could it picks up um high nitrogen levels that are associated with runoff. Um, so what I'm getting to, to answer your question is, the limo will show you signs of your environment. Um, another great example, you know, in areas where there's restoration work or people are restoring or replen replenishing limo, you will see a change in limo. It starts to come back or it starts to be yeah. healthy. Um, another area, I want to disclose a name, they just started taking care of the stream in that, area and all of a sudden it was like within two months they noticed all the ele, ele grounds are regrowing the hala hala is nice so again it starts with up there if you're taking care of up there 
if you're watching up there um, and you're kiloing up there, then um, it's likely you, you will see a change in the limo. But again, if we're not watching and we aren't taking care of up there, you will see a change in limo for the not so good, yeah? And I, one of the things we like to talk about a lot too is there's a lot of research out there that um, suggests that limo is a part, it, it gives um, somewhere between 40 to 70% of our oxygen. So everybody take a nice breath right now. And somewhere in that breath, 40 to 70% of that breath could have come from this. But I mean, we, we give all the credit to the plants and being, you know, an advocate for plants, I, I do give credit to plants. But we also should be thinking about this guy and this girl that's um, giving us lots and lots of ola and life and breath in each and every day. So I hope that answered your question. Yes, yes. No, that was great. Um, you know, oh, and here's a fun question I guess with that ahi special. Uh, the question was, do you roll it up or do you just cut it up and eat it? Oh, wrong. Yeah, it's ready to go right after that. So you can, like I say, uh, cooking is an art. So you don't have to, you put whatever you want in it. You want to always have texture, uh, hot, sweet, um, you know, the salty, all the combination, however you want to create. And you could even add Caesar dressing if you like on, you know, some uh, restaurants or, or, or uh, mayo wasabi. So cooking is an art. You can add sesame oil. I was trying to keep it all uh, just as native as I could be, as uh, Aina based as I could be in Kai base. So uh, again, be creative. Great. Yeah. Any other questions out there for our friends? Wow, we've already learned so much. So real quick, we got one more limo. Ooh, okay, <laughs> let's go, let's go. It's not why we, I, I, one day hopefully we get them from our own garden, but this is Limo uh, Ogo, uh, family to the Manuel. And so just real quick, if you get extra, the last uh, cooking show we did, we had extra. So again, Proxu, uh, Aina, Kupu, O Kilauea, they were, um, so right in the bowl, really easy. And I think I shared that recipe with you. And so I, Stayed up all night and Julian, this uh, beautiful um, daikon, which is gonna add heat and texture. Okay, color mic. So you got your ogo and your daikon right now. Okay. Yeah. Julian style. Um, if you know more ogo, and you would like to work on helping to eradicate the invasives, there's a um, Invasive out there, actually called um, Echinophthora, and I'll hold it right up here near the screen. Um, it's an Echinophthora limo. Um, Auntie Kalehua, I'm going to give props to her. Auntie Kalehua um, Hamyang from Kauai, she used to love to eradicate. Oh, actually, oh yeah, she says okay, Echinophthora. I gotta watch out because it looks like the leaf. Um, but she used to love to pick this out of her kohu beds and um, do the same recipe, same style of recipe with the egg and talk for us. So if you want to help to eradicate as well as the ogo, the ogo and yeah. parts of like kane ohe and all of that. But the real ogo is not too bad either. I got it. So real quick, I know whole kupu for Kilauea. This was in their uh, box that they've been uh, distributing around the island. Uh, cucumbers and I'm gonna add real quick some fresh uh, ginger and julienne some oleno. Real simple, yeah. Grab that new oil, smash them, don't forget wash your finger, no rub your eye after. <laughs> and just some pakai, pakai to go on it. And let's give it a quick toss. And then I made an equal part mixture of vinegar and sugar. So again, cooking is an art. You go and be as creative, as colorful as you want. And I'm gonna add this to this mixture. And if you've had pickle go in the stores, in the bottle, or uh, 
made it at home in a couple days. Oh, you're gonna be so happy. So yeah, real simple, just like that. You can put it in a jar um, and enjoy it on rice, enjoy it on, on a salad. You can even put some of this, I would put some of this right on the middle of my carpaccio, mm. for presentation, right in the center. A nice little pretty thing right on the center and that'll complement it. So simple, go and eat limu. Yeah, <laughs> eat limu. <laughs> And again, you can use the, um, the invasives too. This is a great recipe to eat the invasives. Yeah. Um, one more time, the ekintafra is taking over our reefs right now. Um, and I, I honor again, Auntie Kalehua Hemyang. She, um, she loved to cook with that, yeah. um, the same recipe. And the uh, oh. hala hala, excellent in there. Uh, normally the uh, Japanese use uh, uh, wakame. Uh, same thing, same, same thing, family. same family uh, in your, uh, I keep forgetting, uh, oh, wow. Namasu? Yeah. Namasu, yeah. Keep probably it. So you can use this also inside. Beautiful salad, yeah. So put dry pie. Uh, be creative, you know. Awesome. Hey. So, Atinalani, um, <laughs> those on Kauai, where can they? Where can they get your Ipono? Uh, right now, because of uh, the pandemic, we are only at Vim and Vigor in Lihul. Uh, all of our products are um, as organic and, and uh, local as we can. And so there's a, a certain amount of sandwiches and salads that you can get there like two days a week right now. Great, great. Uh, um, one, one more question I see here. Do Hawaiians also harvest limu from the ponds? Oh, the freshwater limu? They the didn't pond. specify. They didn't specify, but they're just asking about gathering from the fish ponds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of the fish ponds, that's part of the ecosystem that helps, you know, the fish ponds to exists and um, maintain fish. Um, you know, it starts with that and, and yeah, the ele'eles, the, um, you, you get all kinds of greens in there and even browns that will grow in fish ponds and even some reds and over time. Um, but yeah, you Always can- Always say nibble, nibble, nibble first and, and let your partner know that you nibble, nibble and kiss you. You know, <laughs> I nibble everything. Nibble, nibble, nibble. So you try first. I try first, okay. and then if I, if, you know, in case I'm not breeding, just let your partner know. Okay, only only one of us can try. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I try, I try. I get married. it old already, okay. so I can try. <laughs> and then uh, I took my grandson out recently, and I said, "Hey, my phone is in my dry bag on my backpack, <laughs> and the keys." So it took to get swept out to sea, and he's like, "Do do." <laughs> That you know, it's kind of rough, so yeah. yeah. Just another, yeah, ocean safety. Yeah. You're going out there in Maka'ala and always let someone know too, you know? Mm -hmm. um, awesome. But, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Um, any, any closing manao? Let me show real quick. So real quick, this has been drained and this is the pulp that I showed you earlier that you're gonna save. It's a lot of pulp. I'm gonna press it slightly one more time. And this is what you put back into your bottle and enjoy a Take shot a or shot. two every day. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. So we wanna just say thank you again to both of you for joining us today. We're so thankful. And there's a lot of mahalo going up. Um, you know, for those that are just joining in, uh, the session is being recorded and you can go on to Facebook as well. Um, and Auntie Nalani shared those recipes. So for those on Zoom, you did um, see the recipes there. And maybe later I'll go on to the Facebook page and share that um, for the Pico Ogo salad as well as for the um, Hawaiian style ahi poke. Um, so yeah, we're sending our aloha from Hanapepe over to Wailua. 
And love you guys. Mahalo Nui. Um, and I'm going to bring up my closing slide here. So thank you so much um, to our Ohana. Uh, and thank you to all of you for, again, joining us here on Le Anue Nui. Um, as you can see, we humbly ask you to go to our survey at kanayokana.net slash survey and let us know what you thought about today. Let us know if you liked it, if you want us to continue, um, if this is bringing value into your home and for your ohana, please let us know. And we'll also share uh, the mana'o that you share with our presenters, as well as those that are our partners that are helping us make this possible. So take a few minutes, go to kanayokana.net slash survey, and we would really appreciate um, your mana'o. As always, you know, we're so thankful for all the great uh, presenters that have been joining us. Uh, and, you know, even yesterday, we were able to go to Pu'ukukui and visit there with Ekela and Pomaika'i Kaneopi Okrozier and Kainoa. They were actually there at Pu'ukukui. So that was really exciting. So if you go to kanayokana.net slash lei, you'll be able to see our schedule. Tomorrow um, with Lei Anue Nue, Uluvehi Hopkins will be joining us and we'll be talking about Pueo here in Hawaii, but also around the world. Um, so come back and join us because we always got a really exciting schedule planned for all of you. Um, again, a big mahalo nui loa to Lei and Auntie Nalani. Uh, mahalo and always mahalo to Kanayo Kana as well as Hawaii Nui Akea. Stay connected with us. Follow us on Facebook as well as on Instagram. And that's how you can stay connected and get the most updated information about what's upcoming and yeah, what's new and going on in our, our communities. So as we heard today, stay connected. Limu rocks. Go eat limu, you know, and let it ola. E ola kako, e ola ho ikalahui. Eola no kalimu. Ay, aloha.